I use this because incremental improvements is something that we just, we kind of don't really register. I've had some fascinating experiences with that myself. If we separate out the logic, which is like, yes, Yvonne, I know that we improve little by little. Yeah, yeah, we all know that. We've all seen the motivational posters, the step-by-step, if take one day at a time, all that crap. Like we know that. Fine. But, 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 but when we are judging our own performance, when we are thinking about whether we can pass this thing, we are thinking in 15, 20%. Um, how do I get another 15%? Chances are, you know, a lot of you are sitting still in the between the 30s to 50s for study questions that you're doing. And I know there's a lot of like, I don't know if I can do this. You know, I need another 15 to 20% for my ch- questions generally in order for me to make this. I'm never going to get this right. I'm never going to make this. Okay, so I understand that. Been there, done that. Totally, totally. Um, I want to say one thing that is intended to be comforting, may or may not be. When I wrote CTA, I was doing questions up to the day before the exam, and I never passed any of them. (laughs) And I was so terrified. In fact, this exactly the same thing happened to me for my board one and my board two exams. I was never passing practice questions. And it terrified me because I thought like, well, surely if I was ready for the exam, I'd be passing questions by now. You know, like by the time I'm writing the exam, like if my exam's tomorrow, I should be passing questions today. And it terrified me. The good news is that I passed my CTA and I passed both my board exams, um, even though I was failing my practice questions like right up to the day before. So that should be pretty comforting. So I want you to kind of take that. It means that out the equation. Let's just take it away because a lot of the stress that you're dealing with is okay Von but I did a question today and I got 30 percent and I'm writing you know really really soon what does that mean it means that okay so we, we want to take that it means that out the equation it doesn't mean anything just keep going okay so incremental improvements is about working with the understanding that what you do today is going to improve what you're able to do, but just a little bit. And kind of spoke about it as 3%, because 3% is nothing. In a 100 mark exam, 3% is three mark. Can you do something today that could improve your marks by like just 3%, just 3%, just three, just like 3%. 3% is like a nice small number. It's 3%. If you do a question now, there's no way. I mean, there's no question that you can improve what you're able to do by just 3%. Now, 3% isn't very much because you're probably sitting there going, well, if I was sitting on like 47, 48%, that would be cool, but I'm not. I'm sitting at like less than that. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But if every question you do, you're slowly, incrementally improving by 3%, that starts adding up really quickly. After you've done five questions, that 3% has become 15%. Hmm. Okay. That's really interesting. And we struggle to see that. We struggle to think about that. We struggle to see that because we just can't get away from like, I'm not passing and I'm like 15 to 20% away from where I need to be. And like, I need to know 20% more about deferred tax and I need to know 20% more about this. And I need to like, I'm, I need to get 20% more marks and, and I'm struggling with this and I've got a mental block there and I've never done well here and I've got so much to do. There's a million topics. We get completely blown away. Deal with the overwhelm. What can you do right now? What can you do now to just get another 3%? And in three questions, you're on 9-10% that you've increased. Now, okay, the question you're doing now, it's not going to look like the question you get in the exam. We know that. That's cool. That's fine. But understand that what I'm saying is every time you do a question, you're doing two things. Two things. One is that you're working on that particular topic. So I'm doing a question on impairments. I'm working on impairments. So your brain is working on impairments. But what your brain is also doing is working on the skill of doing the question. And again, just just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just If your communication is just 5% better, if you're able to improve your discussions just a little bit, just like just... It's about 5%. That can, that can change your marks for like every question you have in every topic, in every subject, which is amazing. That's fantastic. So this is incredibly valuable. 